Hi YouTube and happy Friday. Thank God it's Friday. In tonight's video I want to do a very, very quick introduction, a brief look, a quick tour of Nino Ivanov's programming language called 1v0, or as he pronounces it, uh, EVO. EVO is a new programming language and virtual machine that is intended to be incredibly portable, to run on just about everything with, with all sorts of levels of resources you can imagine, everything from microcontrollers, retro home computers, Java, midlet enabled phones, and in my case, where the platforms I'm hoping to port uh, EVO, graphing calculators, Palm PDAs, and the Casio Pocket Viewer PDA. I've mentioned Nino in a few of my, my other videos. He is a friend of mine who has a, a YouTube channel called Alone in the Kitchen by uh, Nino Ivanov. It's a very nice, nice uh, intro you can see here. And there's, there's some background about him, as well as his GitHub page. Uh, he's, he's based in, in, in Austria. And I really find his videos quite inspiring because of the way he's able to invent new computers and programming languages from a deep fundamental understanding of AI, computer science, programming languages, and just the architectures of, of different computer systems and microprocessors. So I'd highly recommend checking out his channel, watching some of those videos, and subscribing to them. They're both very informative, educational, and also, in my opinion, really, really funny. I enjoy the, um, I guess, what some might consider dry kind of, of uh, CS humor. But anyway, with that, I just wanted to walk through Nino's um, GitHub repository. You can see so many different versions of Evo that are not all that long. I mean, you know, take a look at this uh, TZ3 variant. That programming language all fits within 317 lines or 6 kilobits. Or uh, six kilobytes, excuse me. Just you know, think about how uh, how how um, simple and, and compact that programming language is. As you can see, just looking in the files of the repository, there's uh, many different versions, different uh, images for for uh, I try to remember the word Arduino IDE and different microcontroller platforms, ARM platforms, ESP8266, Arduino Mega, Uno, Tiny, and so on. This I'll have to take a look at. I wonder if there's a um, video related to this uh, cording printer um, and and so on. I wonder if there's there's a video based on this that um, I myself need to take my own advice and and see. Yes, I remember something about a a cording keyboard for for writing uh, uh, Evo. Okay, nice and simple, and and you know a lot of documentation here, a lot of comments provided, which is fantastic. That's a habit I'm forcing myself into uh, for the programming I do, both for work and play. Okay, so just to give you give you some idea of what that looks like, there's a a um, JAD and JAR file if you want to pull out your Midlet phone and run Evo on that. I have some videos I've done on the um, Evo Midlet a long, long way way back. Evo TZ4. You can see Linux, Mac, Windows, Windows, or uh, Windows. <laughs> I laughed at my own joke. Uh, Linux, Windows, Mac, Haiku OS, OS, Termux, ISH, Apple II, C64. Essentially, what I've gathered from watching a lot of of Nino's uh, videos on Evo is that the goal is to have a kind of machine code or assembly language that's entirely numeric and that emulates little mainframes from the 40s through the 60s. 
as I mentioned earlier, uh, a completely portable system that can run on, on just about everything, you know, a washing machine microcontroller, a refrigerator microcontroller, and what have you. It shall fit. It shall uh, fill fill the niche where basic interpreters are too big or not comfortable enough to use. Where practicable, it runs from at least emulated EEPROM. Another thing uh, Nino had told me that's really interesting is is one of the things that inspired this language is something similar to the cardiac computer, a uh, paper-based uh, computing teaching aid that he said was used in Ethiopia. I'll have to look that up. I mean, the cardiac I eventually had heard about and apparently was very common in the U.S. in the late 60s, 70s, and then up to the early 1980s. But I wasn't aware of a um, paper computer used in, in uh, Ethiopian teaching. So I'll have to look that up and read about it further. It could be something very, very cool. Okay, so... Uh, uh, Java, Evo in Java, and then compiling Evo portably in C without, you know, needing a lot of extra requirements. You saw it's, you know, a very, very compact set of code. I might have to go through the code and really deeply understand it. There's a uh, YouTube video on this. Oh, wow, a full, full hour here on, on Evo. So you get, you know, a full hour and uh, eight minutes on on Evo, which is which is great. Oh, this is this is really funny, uh, it, 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 fu funny and, and also really cool. This AT Tiny uh, mainframe hooked up to a little thermal printer, so you can see you know a lot of great great stuff there. Okay, uh, different compilation. You can if you have a CPM machine, you can run Evo on your CPM machine, or maybe in in um, Emulation. There's a DOS version, a Commodore 64 version, an Apple II version, and all these directions for for how to cross compile for those systems. Linux, you can see that's that's pretty much standard. Windows 11, Mac OS, Haiku OS, iOS, Android, and uh, there you go. I'd like to add Palm OS, PV OS and uh, I guess um, whatever operating systems for the uh, Casio FX9860 and FXCG10 uh, to this list. It will be really exciting to get Evo on several more platforms. I'll have to think about further platforms uh, from there. I think this is just a useful exercise for myself too, porting Evo to these new platforms, both for more deeply understanding programming, uh, cross compilation, computer architecture, and emulation in general. And this might you know, serve me quite well in the uh, not too distant future. I'll close this and also just briefly I want to point out there's a 62 page manual appropriately titled uh, Evo. Uh, that's this is really simple, but but super super clear. Just just that alone, um, and you can see this is a really really nicely formatted and linked document with explanations of all these different instructions. Like I mentioned, everything's numeric. There's there's uh, 64 uh, different instructions here, including trigonometric functions. There's uh, the uh, order acceptance mode, general principles of operation documented here, different um, uh, platform specific instructions in section 7, notes on platforms here. This is really, really fantastic. Uh, I will go to the dedication since I think this is uh, worth showing. This system has been created in loving memory of my father and with deepest gratitude whom I miss, miss every single day and will forever continue to inspire me. I know TZ are from the names of, of Nino's parents. Okay, so I'll just go through a little bit more but but see, you know, just the fact that you there's like uh, hyperlinks built into that really helps with with jumping through the documentation I, I I was just thinking now I should figure out a way to 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 
navigate this uh, both on the um, on Palm OS devices, maybe as a Palm database, a PDB file, or just reading a PDF depending on the Palm, and then using that easy referencer I talked about for the Casio Pocket Viewer to make hyperlinked um, documentation if you were to use um, Evo on that device. I think that's a, honestly a really, really nice use case. That, that device just lends itself to Evo really well. The pretty simple programming model and the types of data entry. Okay, so let's here, let's see here. Um, I'm just going to go through this page and I'll, I'll wrap up the video pretty soon. Let's you feel a fantastic with a pH, early mainframe, GP, uh, GPL license. It's a sort of assembler-like interpreter on a virtual machine and not unlike a basic interpreter with immediate code or a WISP interpreter. The EVO system, pronounced like the Bulgarian name EVO. Oh, um, I think this is a, uh, uh, is it a sans serif font and also evenly spaced. So that's another nice design touch. The EVO system, pronounced like the Bulgarian name EVO, is inspired a bit by the idea of, the, of a mainframe of the late 1940s or early 1950s. At the time, computers were rather personal, without any time sharing and other complication, and immediate. You really computed with numbers, not strings, objects, etc. And you did not uh, did not do a too fancy um, I/O. Often, these computers had large or variable bit lengths, and for as primordial as they were, they're so supposed to let you do real engineering or mathematical work. Thus, here you set the numbers into a uh, machine, let it operate, and get some result back, which might not even be printed, but rather just stored at certain memory locations. The aim of the system is to make possible to conduct interactive algorithmic computation on nearly any hardware. That is super exciting, and I think the key, key point of this. This makes it possible to use basically anything to devise algorithms, which to their centricity and on numbers should with these be usable anywhere at all, and portable to any other programming language with relative ease. Thus, Evo may help any hobbyist turn his or her Arduino into a computer and facilitate algorithmic experimentation, also on old mobile phones, which might in turn be helpful to advance understanding of computation for children, the poor, and people in developing countries. Evo is presented in C, as this is the reference implementation, in Java for big machines, as a Java middleware for old cell phones, and for Arduino-style microcontrollers tested on Arduino Uno, Arduino Mega 2560, Arduino Dewey, it should work on ARM in general. Unfortunately, a re reset clears the instruction memory due lack of, of EEPROM emulation, DigiSpark, Tiny85, and Wemos D1. So I think that really captures what inspires me about Nino's channel. Taking these, these first principles and this deep understanding of computation and creating something uh, new, in this case a new programming language, to share those ideas on a really broad scale in a way that, that, uh, that uh, works on uh, computationally also scales to just about anything. I think with that, I'll wrap up this quick look at Evo. I'll, this definitely won't be my only video. I'll have more where I try out Evo and Linux and on different platforms and also talk about the development process to bring this to Palm OS, PVOS, and Casio graphing calculators. And with that, I appreciate your attention. I hope this was informative. I hope it was entertaining. If you have any thoughts, questions, or suggestions, leave them in the comments down below. And if you like what you see, as always, please like and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching and have a great one.